Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Um, my question is, it takes so much attention to remain in no mind. Like it's, I can stay there for a few minutes, maybe like even 10 or 15 sometimes if I'm lucky with meditation, but then I slip back into the mind stream and I don't even notice the floating away. And then like the next day, I can't even remember what it felt like or much less how to wake up again. And so I come up with these like little key phrases or reminders, but they I'm never saying, work as well as they did. Anybody in the room knows what you're talking about? Anybody in the room know? You, you can't see them, but everybody's laughing and raising their hand. Exactly. So what's the problem? How do, how do I remind myself how to step out of that dream state more effectively? Because every little key phrase reminder that I come up with stops working after a few days or weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look. Thank God. Um... Uh, have you, do you, uh, how do I say this? Do you have to remind yourself not to go looking for mountain lions? <laughs> no. Why? Uh, <laughs> uh, because, well, I suppose the real reason is it's not part of my ordinary day, but the answer you're looking for, I think, would be because they are dangerous. Yeah, if I get, go looking for a mountain lion, I'm going to get mauled. Yeah. You have to be reminded not to go into a bad neighborhood. No, of course not. Well, why? Because I would be scared. <laughs> no, because I intuitively know better than to do that. Yeah. Well, one day you will know better than to go to sleep spiritually. Yeah. You, you won't have to think to yourself, how do I maintain this? Because you'll have tried to maintain it for so long, God willing, you disciplined yourself as challenging as it can be until you realize that you're never going to break down the gates of heaven. Because you're not. And when at last you know you're not going to break down the gates of heaven, lo and behold, there's the gates of heaven. Because there's no longer a you trying to become something, trying to manifest or realize something that is in your imagination, even though you may have had a glimpse of certain things as you've described. It's so beautiful. I just can't get you to see it yet because we want to see and attend to what we've imagined our life is supposed to be like so that then I can have the experience that I've imagined Failing to see that every time I try to live up to the experience I've imagined, I suffer for failing to live up to the experience. Kimberly? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's no comfort in what I said, is there? <laughs> I'm looking for guarantees. I want it, what I want to say to you is, wait, can you promise me that this is going to work? I know that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-nine ninety-five. <laughs> yeah, not. Yeah, I know. It's um. Listen to me. Hmm. You just can't find it yet, but you've had indications. The divine has made a promise to all those who promise themselves to that realization. If it weren't so, there would be nobody that would ever be realized. If there weren't something that urged Einstein, that urged St. Paul or Jesus or any master at any point in time, that urged them to have this gnosis, this experience, this unity, because something in them was drawing them into that. When you understand that something is drawing you to find the truth, and you'll one day realize that draw, what draws you to find the truth is the truth itself. And at that point, experience changes because you realize that if you're willing to do the work, everything leads to a new experience, a new understanding of this consciousness. And when that happens enough, you realize that's what real life is. Real life is the revelation of our ceaseless possibility of being reborn in every single moment. And I didn't create it for myself. I can't make it happen, but I can participate in it. 